In today's video, I'm going to be comparing the different types of lockers available as OEM options on today's trucks. Hey everyone, I'm Northern Explorer and welcome to my channel. Specifically, I'm going to be listing off the pros and cons of the automatic locking differential, commonly called the G80 and found on Chevy and GMC trucks, to the selectable electronic locking differential commonly found on Ford, Toyota, and many others. An air locker also falls under the selectable locker category, but is not typically found as an OEM option. Just a brief overview before we get started. For those that don't know, an open differential allows the driver's side and passenger side wheels to rotate individually. This minimizes binding and overall wear and tear on the drivetrain. A locker, on the other hand, enables the engine torque to be evenly distributed between the driver's side and the passenger side wheels. In other words, both tires on the same axle will rotate together in order to provide maximum traction. This is my 2017 Ford F-250 that I purchased new in 2018. This truck came from the factory with the optional electronic locking rear differential. Let's go over some of the pros and cons of this locker. The driver has the ability to pre-engage the locker before getting into the rough stuff. The selectable locker will not disengage unexpectedly. The selectable locker is better for your tires. This locker doesn't require wheel spin on potentially jagged rocks that could be tough on your tires. The selectable locker is better for the road surface. Because there is no wheel spin required, the road will not be prone to as much deterioration. Most, but not all, manufacturers have their vehicles set up so that the locker will only work in four-wheel drive low. That is not the case for the F-250. With the electronic and pneumatic components, the selectable locker has more complexity that could lead to failure requires an understanding by the driver to know when and how to use the locker. This is my 2005 Chevy Colorado. This truck didn't have a locker when I first purchased it. This was my first four wheel drive vehicle and I didn't understand the importance of having a locker. My learning curve was steep and within about a year I had a local shop install the OEM differential locker. The difference it made was night and day and I will never again own a truck without a locker. The automatic locker doesn't have electric or pneumatic components to break, leak, or short circuit. The automatic locker is self-contained. There is no airline or wire being fed through the housing of the differential. With the automatic locker, the driver doesn't need to have off-road driving knowledge to know when or how to engage or disengage the locker. It is all done automatically. The automatic locker will engage quicker in unexpected circumstances. And finally, the automatic locker will engage in two-wheel drive, four high, or four low. The automatic locker requires one wheel to spin 120 RPMs faster than the other wheel on the same axle. This can result in tire and road surface wear. Feedback from how the vehicle is handling is the only evidence to whether or not the locker is engaged. There is no indicator light on the dashboard. The vehicle can lurch forward when the locker engages.
So which one is best? It just depends on your driving experience and what kind of surface you'll be driving on. I personally prefer the automatic locker on snow and mud and any low friction surface. I prefer the selectable locker on rock and hard surfaces or when pre-engaging the locker is preferred. Either way, any locker is better than no locker. That's it for this one. Like and subscribe and I'll catch you next time. Hi there. Hi.